The doctor will be in shortly to examine you. I need you to put this gown on. Oh dear. What is this? And the shoulders. And the back. Oh dear. I can't wear this. Where's my dignity? Hi, I'm Dr. Leela Bola, a board certified internist, geriatrician, and hospice and palliative medicine specialist. As a practicing physician for over 30 years in a variety of settings, including hospitals, rehab units, and long-term care facilities. I watched patients struggle with embarrassment wearing exposing hospital gowns. And I watched nurses and therapists struggle to encourage patients to ambulate in order to avoid all the complications associated with the bed-bound status. I designed the Dignity Hospital Gown with patient comfort, modesty, and functionality in mind. Let's take a look. Hospitalization can be a stressful experience. Currently available hospital gowns expose the shoulders, chest, and back. Walking among strangers wearing these revealing hospital gowns can be downright embarrassing. This discourages patients from ambulating, leading to all the risks associated with immobility and bed bond status, such as pressure ulcers, venous thrombosis, and atelectasis of the lungs. Hospital gowns are designed to provide quick and easy access to patients in a medical emergency and placing IV access, Foley catheter, and telemetry boxes. Unfortunately, emphasis is placed on medical procedures rather than patient modesty and comfort. Vance, I would like for you to go in and have a seat on the table. We're going to do an EKG, please. Would you lie down, please? Oh, yes. The Dignity Hospital Gown is designed to provide complete coverage, front, back, and sides while ambulating, sitting, or lying down without compromising quick and easy access for patient care. Vance, later we're going to put a telemetry here in this pocket to monitor your heart. Oh, okay, thank you. You know, just recently I was in the hospital and I had that experience of those terrible hospital gowns. Uh, I think anybody who's been in the hospital has probably had to wear one of these or two. And uh, I found it was just very, very uncomfortable. I felt that uh, I had no dignity. Uh, if I wanted to get up out of the bed, I had to have somebody help me so that they could put a, another gown behind me to, to cover me up. And uh, I, just, I just thought it was just not a comfortable feeling at all. I recently was introduced to a new gown that was designed by Dr. Bola, and it's called a Dignity Gown. It, it does not expose the shoulders, and it does not expose the back. It ties on the sides and is so much more comfortable than, than the kind of gown, normal hospital gown. So I think anybody that's going to the hospital should really inquire about the new Dignity gown. I think you'd be much happier and more comfortable with your stay at the hospital. Betty, it's okay, calm down. I have another gown you can try. What do you think of this one? You're, oh, it's closed yeah. in the front and the back, and look, you won't have to worry about oh. your shoulders exposed. Oh, that's lovely. Oh, my goodness. Yes, it's beautiful. I think if you have a hospital stay coming up, you should inquire about the Dignity Gown because it's just a wonderful improvement.
don't let your derriere dance in the air. Wear a Dignity Hospital gown for your comfort and care. For a durable, economical solution for your future hospital gown needs, please consider the Dignity Hospital gown. And thank you for watching.